For the 2007 Urban Grant Challenge, the University of Louisiana at Lafayette, Teams Cajun Bot, has entered a Jeep Rubicon Wrangler as its base vehicle. Its short turn and radius and high braking coefficient, small width, make it a logical choice for the Urban Challenge. RagingBot builds on the experience and software development from the original Cajun Bot that was in the previous two grand challenges. For the Urban Challenge, RagingBot has a whole new suite of sensors, including five LiDAR sensors from SICK. It has one SICK in the back to detect obstacles when backing up. Three Doppler radars, a stereo camera rig, and a color camera. To determine its location, RagingBot uses a Oxford INS GPS solution. It's equipped with two GPS antennas mounted two meters apart from each other on the roof of RagingBot with a satellite correction service from Starfire mounted in the center. RagingBot is fully outfitted with the required safety features. This includes emergency stops on both sides of the vehicle, a wireless e-stop, lights, and signs. RagingBot is already outfitted with the required DARPA e-stop connection. Using proven software algorithms from the CajunBot program, RagingBot is already a fully functional autonomous robot. It is completely outfitted with a mini computer lab in the back of the vehicle. Although we currently only use two computers to handle all the processing needs, it has the physical space, ventilation, and power requirements to handle up to four distributed server class computers. It is outfitted with a computer controlled drive-by wire system from EMC. It has two high output alternators that have augmented the electrical system that powers our computers and actuators. This is the Cajun Bot simulator, and here we're showing our simulated Cajun Bot doing the same course that it performed uh, outside. The Cajun Bot simulator can ingest all the sensor data uh, that the real Cajun Bot receives in real time and processes it, so it helps us extensively with prototyping and debugging activities. The course that we're running has a total length of 353 meters, and it's a basic uh, rectangle shape. There is one obstacle on the course that was randomly placed and the vehicle as you can see there are clearly defined lanes and the vehicle will stay in the outer lane until it encounters the obstacle. Once it encounters the obstacle it will pause, determine that the other lane is clear, switch lanes and then once it's past the vehicle we'll switch back into the outer lane. Team CajunBot is well on its way to meeting all the requirements for the next DARPA Grand Challenge. With the additional sensors built upon the proven algorithms from the previous CajunBot, we feel that RagingBot will be a strong contender.